Kiki Crumbs. Today we're gonna to be making this absolutely gorgeous, amazing, tasty, beautiful rainbow crepe cake. It is quite simple, but time consuming, but totally worth it. So let's get started. What you're gonna to need to adults. For your crepes, you'll need six eggs, 280 grams of flour, 700 ml of milk, 85 grams of butter, 100 grams of sugar, and for your whipping cream, you'll need 480 grams of heavy cream, 40 grams of powdered sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm using some food coloring. I'm using green, orange, purple, yellow, blue, and red. To start, we're gonna be making our batter. So what you want to do in a large bowl, you wanna place your flour and sugar and we're gonna start cracking in our six eggs. Now using a whisk, you just want to whisk it and make it all come together. This will be like a thick paste, so it won't be like super smooth. Now that your batter looks like this, we're going to add our warm milk a little bit and we're going to alternate adding some warm milk and some melted butter. Now that my batter is all mixed in well and looks like this lovely velvety and smooth. I have six bowls in which I'm going to divide my batter equally and color it. So I'm going to just start putting one cup, ladle, I don't know, one measurement in each bowl and then go from there. So now I have all my super colorful batter and well, my red kind of turned out pink. I'm not too sure why. I think my red food coloring probably wasn't bright enough, but that's okay because who doesn't love pink? So it's fine. And now we're gonna move onto the stove and get cooking. So now you want to transfer your batter to a little jug. And you don't have to do this. If you have like, um, you know those like measuring cup things like a third of a cup a quarter of a cup I don't have those but if you have those you could just scoop it out and directly into the pan but otherwise my ladle is just too big so it'd be like really difficult to scrape out so I'm just gonna pour it in here and well I do my favorite thing which is just eyeball <laughs> so now you want to put a pan on medium heat on your stove and we are going to pour some of our batter and what you want to do is pour the batter in and in the meantime you also want to swirl it around to cover the whole pan. And now you want to see the edges. When you see the edges come off the pan like this, it means your crepe is basically ready and you just want to get the edges free. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pick up your crepe and turn it around. And you're gonna cook it for about just a couple of minutes until it's nice and dried out.
So now you wanna focus on your whipped cream and it's super simple. All you wanna do is place your cold, heavy cream in a bowl, add the vanilla extract and your half of your powdered sugar and you wanna start whipping. So I've transferred my mixture to a larger bowl because that was too small. And now I'm halfway whisked and I'm gonna add the rest of my powdered sugar and whisk until firm. Now you wanna place this in your fridge while you wait for all of your crepes to cool down completely. Now we have all of our wonderful, colorful crepes that look amazing and our cold whipped cream and now we're ready to assemble our cake. So first thing you wanna take is one little crepe and place it in the center or as centered as you possibly can. Then we're gonna take a little bit of whipped cream and spread it out. And you're just gonna keep layering, trying to center the crepes every time. Now that your cake is covered, you wanna place it in the fridge for about 15 to 20 minutes um, before you cut it and serve it. And now let's cut a slice. That looks amazing. And look at all those layers and the colors and oh, it just looks beautiful. And look inside of the cake. So here is our amazing rainbow crepe cake. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm wearing a little Tea Grounds t-shirt. And I would love to know what you guys uh, think about it, if you like it, if you don't, and just any comments. And the layers, the colors, with the whipped cream in the middle. Oh my God, it is so beautiful. I am so excited. And now let's get to tasting. It's so good because it's not too sweet, but it has that sweet, like the crepes are sweet but not really sweet, and the whipped cream has that like, like little bit of powdered sugar and vanilla kick, and it's just so good. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and what you would like to see me make in my future videos. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye!